It's the cast form up for a restart here. Lancaster and Wormel row one, Williamson and Bradford row two. You would have seen as they roll around as a few of them with a bit of damage, including car number five of Tim Burgess and the 21 also with damage of Troy Lawson. Have a look at the wings. Car five on the third row outside. Have a look at the damage to that car. Front wing and the top wing damaged. That'll be a handful to drive. And also damage to the top wing of 21, Troy Lawson. 12 cars to run. Twenty-five laps the journey. Tempting fate. Ten seventeen. Can we get through the first turn safely? The yellow lights go out, pace car goes onto the infield. Lancaster and Wormel. Stand by, green lights, come on. Lancaster went very early. I'm sure we're gonna go yellow, so move out of turn number two. George Eaton spins, yellow lights come on. Push car will be required for George Eaton, who's stuck down there in turn number two. Yellow lights, I think we're going to come on anyway for Ryan Lancaster jumping the start. So George Eaton will get a push in a moment. Now traditionally down there where George Eaton is, is normally under water. So I'm not quite sure how, how wet it is down there, but uh, it might take a while to get him out. George Eaton has recovered. Hopefully one of the officials on the infield will turn that light off on that to push car that's on the infield. Ryan Farrell, originally out of 11, now up to five with the inside row going. With spins and stoppages and crashes. So he's already made up quite a few spots as George Eaton gets going. We should be able to go next time around. Yellow lights about to go out. Pro Sprint Car Feature Race, 25 laps. Better dispatch this time. Wormel gets the best of it. So go down to turn number one. Lancaster back to second. In third place is 57. Sean Bradford and then Ryan Farrell moves up to fourth as we stay green. They move out of turn four the first time. And it's Wormel in front from Lancaster. Bradford third. Ryan Farrell in fourth place and Callum Williamson in fifth. Back in sixth place is Scott Endell as they storm down the back straight. Our race leader doing a good job out in front, Mitch Wormel. Leads lap number two, Lancaster in second place. Bradford third, Ryan Farrell slides up underneath. Bradford to fight back on the outside and, oh, contact on the back straight. Bradford is out. Bradford is gone, he goes infield. It'll be the end of Ryan Farrell as well, I suspect. He's having trouble steering the car. There's a flat tire, yellow lights will have to come on. Surely the yellows will come on. He's limping, limping, limping. Gets to the infield, the greens remain on. Our race leader is Mitch Wormel. 
He's a long way in front due to that. Lancaster in second place. Williamson in third. Back in fourth is Scott Endell. Then back in fifth is George Eaton. So run down the main straight once again. The race leader is number 97, Mitch Wormel. Second place is Ryan Lancaster. Third is Callum Williamson. So doing 15 second laps here in Collie. Back to Endell in fourth and then fifth place, George Eaton. Behind them, Tim Bridges, Joe Latham, Luke Mewitt. Troy Lawson in ninth. And then behind him is Vince Rosenthal, who's about to be lapped by a race leader. Mitch Wormel comes out of Palmer's Corner into the main straight once again. Seven laps down and 18 to go. Second place, Ryan Lancaster. Callum Williamson in third. Back in fourth place still Endell. And behind Endell is the 17 of George Eaton. A race leader back with us once again. He's coming up now on Troy Lawson down in turn number one. Lawson washes out a wee bit as Wormel closes the gap on him. Back in second place, it's Lancaster. Right behind him is Callum Williamson. They run down the back straight. They come up behind Vince Rosenthal. Williamson goes upstairs tries to come up on the outside of Lancaster. Lancaster just gets around the outside of Rosenthal down in turn number one. Williamson follows him through. A cap back then to Endurl and in fifth place is George Eaton. Out of Pittsburgh, they come into the main straight. A leader's long gone. The battle for seconds, an intriguing one between Lancaster and Williamson. Meanwhile, our race leader is stuck behind two lap cars. So they come out of turn number four. Second place, Lancaster. Third place, Williamson. Fourth position, still Endurl. Fifth position is uh, George Eaton as our race leader runs down the back straight. 11 down for Mitch Wormel. This time 12 down. So he comes down the main straight. Wormel, your race leader from Lancaster. Williamson in third. Fourth place is Scott Endurl. And then behind them is George Eaton. Bugis runs in sixth place. Then follow them to Joe, uh, Joe Latham, Troy Lawson, Luke Mewitt and Vince Rosenthal. Our leader is in turn number one and two. Has a buffer of 2.3 seconds. Williamson goes around the outside of Lancaster. Goes into second place as they come up on one of the slower cars. Lancaster washes out and Williamson continues on around the outside of Mewitt. Puts a lap car between he and Lancaster. Now, Endurl is coming into the picture. He comes up behind Lancaster back then to George Eaton in fifth. The margin was 2.5 seconds between Wormel and Williamson. It's down to 2.3. Williamson is starting to close the gap. There are no lap cars between he and the race leader, Mitch Wormel. Nine laps to go now. 16 down and nine to go. Williamson in second place will catch Wormel, who has three lap cars to negotiate. The margin's down to 1.89 seconds. The yellow lights come on. Yellows are on. We've got a car that's spun at the top of the main straight. It's Tim Bugis in car number five. And we've done 15 completed laps and 10 laps to go. And Mitch Wormel's lead of 2.3 seconds, which was being eaten away by Callum Williamson, is all gone. And it's now Wormel, Williamson, Lancaster, Endurl, and George Eaton, the top five. Bugis was in sixth place. And I didn't see what happened, but he spun. High drama at the beginning of the race between Bradford and Farrell. Over on the back straight, which took out both drivers in a high speed crash, which uh, somehow everybody was able to avoid and the Greens were able to remain on. So it'll be Wormel, Williamson, Lancaster, Endurl and Eaton. Sixth place will be Joe Latham and then Troy Lawson is up to seventh. Luke Mewitt, Vince Rosenthal. And I think Bugis will be at the back. Ten laps remain in the Pro Sprint Car Feature Race. Tempting fate here with the weather. We've had a, a restart and a rollover uh, that started this race.
And the five car. is about to be pushed away. Some Wormless led from the get-go. Williamson up to second now. Lancaster had a great battle with Williamson for a long time there. Scott Endurl is fourth. Eaton is fifth. And the five car, which looks pretty sick and sorry after that earlier incident, Tim Burgess will tack on to the back. Nose to tail restart coming up. Yellow lights are still solid. No start this time around. Oh, here's another interesting. Look at the front wing on Mitch Wormel's car. Mitch Wormel's front wing has uh, come askew. That's going to be a handful in the last 10 laps. So the front wing of Wormel's car is hanging on by a thread. He'll be the leader, but the car in second place will be all over him like a rash on this restart. Where will he go? They normally go around here at the gate. He's holding them. He's holding them. He goes now. Around the cone. Tender run. Wormel the leader. Here comes Callum. Callum Williamson, look to the outside, he looks again, Wormel closes it down, Wormel still in front, down into turn one, Williamson will try again, down the back straight, Wormel in front, Williamson goes to the inside, got him, good move, Williamson takes the lead. Wormel in second place, oh one's upside down, another one's gone. I think that is Troy Lawson who's tipped it upside down. And we are red again. Now the interesting thing when we go back to green, Mitch Wormel will be back in front. A dramatic old feature race happening here. Great move by Callum Williamson to take the lead over there in turn three, but it'll amount to naught. And uh, Mitch Wormel will be back in front at the c as we restart with nine laps to go. Put your hands together for Troy Lawson. He's actually walking back to the pits. The ambulance is looking for him. They've driven straight past him. Troy Lawson is on his way back to the uh, pit area. And he is A-OK. -okay. So the race order when this one gets back underway will be Mitch Wormel from Callum Williamson, Ryan Lancaster third, Scott Endurl will be in fourth, George Eaton, Joe Latham, Luke Mewitt and Vince Rosenthal. That's the order as they cross the loop before any penalties are applied for anyone that may have spun or, or any relegations. So we'll leave that to the officials next door, but that was the order on the timing loop. And the 21 car was second hand after the first crash. It's very second hand after the second and the, the good news though is Troy Lawson is okay. He's leaving it very late this time. Away we go. Down into turn number one. Williamson immediately goes upstairs. Wormel's able to hold him off. Lancaster had to hold off Endurl. Williamson now tries the inside on uh, the 97 car. That doesn't work either. Wormel doing a great job out in front with a damaged car. Williamson has another look. Can't make it work this time. They run the back straight. It's still Wormel from Williamson. Williamson goes right around the outside. And thank you very much. 
Williamson takes the lead from Wormel. What a move. Back in third place, it is Lancaster, then Anderl, and then Eaton. But Williamson, now that he's hit the front, is driving right away with it with half a dozen to go. Williamson, Wormel, Lancaster, Endurl goes wide. Eaton goes to fourth, Endurl back to fifth. Puges in sixth place. And back then to uh, Latham, Rosenthal and Mewitt. That time around was a 14.5 for Callum Williamson with five to go. Callum Williamson with a brilliant move with seven laps remaining, took the lead and has gone right away from the ailing Mitch Wormel. Back in third place, Ryan Lancaster. George Eaton in fourth place and Endel right behind him. They're going to scrap it out for the Miners. Well, one car off the racetrack coming back on is Mewitt. Comes in between first and second. Wormel's able to get around the outside of him. Williamson now comes up on the outside of the 36 car of Vince Rosenthal. Two laps to go for our race leader. Williamson moves down the back straight. Back to Wormel in second place. Then Ryan Lancaster, George Eaton and Scott Endurl. White flag comes out. One lap of Collie to go here in the Pro Sprint Car Feature Race. Back to Wormel in second. Lancaster in third. And then back to Eaton. And uh, then in fifth place is Scott Endurl. We'll come and put your hands together. What a drive by the 15 of Callum Williamson. Williamson first. Wormel second, Lancaster third, back then to George Eaton, Scott Endurl, then back to Tim Burgess, Joe Latham, Vince Rosenthal and Luke Mewitt. Yellow lights come on, we've got a car stranded over on turn two with a check, it is out. Put your hands together ladies and gentlemen for the winner of the feature race, Callum Williamson with one of the moves of the decade, it's very rare you see that, right round the outside here at Collie in a sprint car to take the lead at the top of the main straight on Mitch Wormel and Ryan Lancaster Williamson, Wormel, Lancaster Eaton and Endurl and Tim Burgess finished on the lead lap, 25 laps the last lap was the quick lap of the race, a 14.438 by Callum Williamson who wins by 4 0.232 seconds. We'll have a presentation down trackside in just a moment. Okay, we'll have the presentations for first, second and third in the feature race. And what a race it was too. Third place tonight put hands together for Ryan Lancaster. A good drive, Ryan. A very, very fast racetrack tonight and it's still very, very sticky underfoot. Yeah, it was, it was good. It's unlike this place normally. It's a hot, dusty mess, you know, so it was nice over to drive. Um, happy with it. A little bit disappointed. Sort of went in my shell a bit in the middle of the race there. And got a bit tight, but um, yeah, we'll keep working on it. Um, it was nice to start to front again. Just got to convert in the feature. Big race season coming up for you, obviously, and uh, this is just the start of it. Yeah, absolutely. It's a massive season. Um, yeah, just trying to eliminate the DNS and be consistent. And, and yeah, we've got the 410 and the 360 series. So um, yeah, really excited. I'm really enjoying it. So hopefully we can keep that up. Well done. Cheers. So Ryan Lancaster in third place. Second place with a car that had a few buckled on at the In second place, Mitch Wormel. Uh, Mitch, 
you held him off for quite a while, but uh, you had a little damage. It's obviously going to uh, would have probably hampered the, the the steering of the car. Yeah, front wing collapsed there in the first corner of that second start, so that was a bit uh, disappointing. But we held him for 15, hoping there was no yellow, so that way whatever gap I did have it could stay there. But yellow came and he got me. Uh, the car had plenty of good uh, speed to right throughout the night. Must be pretty happy apart from that. Yeah, no, really happy the whole night. Um, to come in and put it off the front row was pretty cool, and to lead the first 15 laps was good. Um, yeah, no, it was a tough night. Well done tonight. Cheers, mate. Try once. There we are. This is going to be a tricky one. Our winner tonight with great move, big passing move on the outside, Callum Williamson. Well, uh, I've been here for a long, long time. I haven't seen a sprint car pass down there in turn four on the outside before. Yeah, it was um, unreal. The track just kept on getting better during the night. And um, yeah, there was a few opportunities there uh, up top where the car felt real nice. So yeah, we just picked the opportunity right. Um, it was a shame that the restart for Mitch, but it all got us bottled back up again and managed to throw a move in. But I um, can't thank uh, Midland Truck Sales enough. Uh, David for letting me drive this car. He um, has got awesome gear, great engine, and um, I'm just happy I get the race 360s with these boys. Um, a lot of the Collie people uh, treating you as a local since you spent about 12 months here. They're pretty happy with the result. Um, you'd be uh, probably used to this cold weather or, or not? Uh, not lately. I was when I was here. Um, yeah, it's uh, bloody cold and I'm, I'm just glad we got the meeting in. Uh, it was looking pretty terrible uh, at star night. So um, big thanks to everyone who came down and still watched us. Cheers. And the track uh, has held up uh, remarkably well considering with the weather. Yes, I'm real. Um, I don't know what he'd done to it. He said he didn't do too much and it came out really nice. So, yeah, big congrats to all those boys that put the work in to get us here tonight. And uh, finally, obviously, as I said to the other boys, a really, really big season for you. Yeah, we've uh, got our 410 um, season down packed as well. So we got a fair bit going on uh, every weekend, but it's great. We get a lot of laps under our belt and um, our main focus is the Australian toll this year at the Motorplex. So the more laps, the better. And plus running these cars, at they're pretty much the same as the 410s anyway, just with a little bit less horsepower, but they still go They still go quick. See you next week. Cheers, mate. I'll see you then. Ryan Lancaster in third place. Mitch Wormel is the runner-up. And our winner tonight, Caleb Williamson. And amazingly, that takes us out tonight. It's bitterly cold. It can rain all it likes now. Thanks for being with us. Drive home safely and we'll see you at a speedway next week.